but what made you decide to reach out and get and uh, find out what this whole online coaching thing is about? Um, I didn't like myself very much. And I was keeping grandchildren and staying home a lot. Didn't have time to go to the gym. Uh, when I saw that opportunity and I knew you from, you know, working with you in the gym, I, um, I felt like you were the one that kind of, and because I respected you that you could, I, I knew what you could do. I'd seen results before. So I just, uh, I just kind of went for it. I was in a, I got to do something because I don't like me very much state. <laughs> sure. And, and when you said we, you know, cause we both said that we used to connect and you used to, you guys came to our gym in the past and had some experience working out face to face and in person. And I know you've pursued, you know, over the course of your life, just pursued different types of exercise. Was there anything? Cause I know you hadn't done online before we got started. No. Anything no. Like an online coach. Was there anything that you might've been skeptical about kind of before getting started? Um, Basically, I, I I didn't understand the accountability part. Nobody was, I mean, when you're there face to face, somebody's watching you, they see you do it. Uh, I'm a bit of a procrastinator and I'll get to it later. So it was really whether I was going to follow through what, with it and how accountable you were going to make me. So it wasn't you I doubted. It was myself. It was like, I don't, I don't, I'm going to give this a shot, but, um, it was it was kind of knowing it was up to me to do it and I didn't have to show up to do it. It it, it was a bit challenging. At first, sure, sure. Yes. Now, and that challenge so far, you know, we're we're on this year journey to start here and we're nine months in and um it's been, you know, like everybody has ups and downs and everything in between, struggles and challenges. And I would say is was there any aha moments, anything that you said, you know what? like, wow, this really, this is working. Or was there something that, you know, I know we talked about exercise before being a huge component for you. Um, was there anything that you just like after two months or three months or six months that you said, oh, you know what, this is working? Um, you know, in the beginning, I'd gone through a rough time, lost my daughter. And it was kind of like, I really, I really want to do this because I know it's important to give me a cause to keep moving because I was at the point of giving up mm -hmm. to dealing with stress and anxiety, I'd rather use exercise than pills. I'd rather do things as naturally as possible. So although some days I struggled and maybe didn't get as much effort in the exercises that I needed to, I, I did what I could and, and I always did them. And after a while, my big thing was strength. I have, it wasn't a big weight thing, but I have osteoporosis and after losing so much weight, grieving with my daughter, I could really tell I had no muscle tone and my, my strength was failing. So when I started a few months in, beginning to feel stronger and recognizing, well, you know, I couldn't do that exercise a month ago, but I'm doing it now and I'm doing it faster and it's not as painful. And um, so measuring and how I felt and now I've actually... For a while, I wouldn't wear anything sleeveless because I found that, first of all, I found out that at 70, almost 73, that skin just does not bounce back like it used to. And so when I started building a little bit of muscle, I was beginning to see that I was not quite, you know, I could see an improvement in the way my skin tone looked and everything. And of course, being a woman, a little bit of vanity there, that gave me encouragement to keep on. But I have really been pleased with the amount of strength I've gained. I feel like I am in better shape now than I was for sure a couple of years ago when I had to slack off taking care of my daughter. And um, do I grumble about doing 50 burpees? Yes. <laughs> but do I, do I attempt to do them? I do because I can really tell a huge difference in, in how I feel. And even uh, my doctor has commented that the, the ex I, I had a little problem, you know, with some anxiety things and causing my blood pressure to go up. And even my doctor told me, she said, this exercise thing you're doing is probably saving your life. Keep it up. And of course, that really encouraged me to, it is vitally important regardless of what age you are. And I was skeptical about what you can do, you know, since COVID has identified me as, elderly over and over and over again. 
what can I really gain or do? But I'm, I'm really, really, really feeling, I'm feeling good about myself now. And that, that means a great deal that I feel stronger and, and healthier. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. You made a couple of really, really good points. One of the things you, that I heard you say is just talking about not sure if the, like, as you get older, if the skin or the, you know, your body can get stronger and you proved it to yourself, right? With the right kind of tools and the right direction and guidance. And I think maybe somebody listening saying 50 burpees, you know, and they say something like that. Well, just realize that wasn't like she just started out doing 50 burpees. In fact, you know, Audi's been working out, you know, on and off for a number of years. It wasn't just something that came and said, hey, let me just try to do 50 burpees. But now you built up over the last nine months. You wouldn't have been able to do maybe even five burpees if you hadn't been doing anything. Over oh, no, no. So that's, that's a testament to you progressing and your body is thanking you now, right? It's maybe it wasn't thanking you before. And not only is your body thanking you, but your doctors are as well because they're seeing yeah. there's, there's a change there. Um, and that's amazing. That's so great. What were you going to say? I, you know, I, I really, I try to tell my daughters who are younger, you know, some really work out, some don't. I, I have uh, a large family. What you do to yourself, I did not really start working out a great deal until in my 40s. And that's when I got my healthiest and got got stronger and i really think as you're aging start now don't wait start now and and i i think your program especially since this virus and all the things that are keeping us home and you've proven that you didn't have to have a lot of equipment you didn't have to have a lot of stuff you didn't have to look cute to go to the gym with all the attire on but you just you just have to do it and you've made that if you can't do it in the comfort of your own home with nobody watching, you know, that you should be able to. So I would just tell anybody out there, start now. Don't, don't think because I'm 50, 60, 70, 35, whatever, and I've never exercised, do it. Because you will appreciate it as you age. You, you really will. And you're going to want to play. I have soon to be between grandchildren and great-grandchildren number 32 on the way and i intend to dance at most of their weddings so you know so awesome. <laughs> that's so great yeah so you're so inspiring too just i think you've inspired me i know you inspire a number of others around you your friends and family members maybe in your even in um your direct family your your children as well and uh it is, I think, one of the struggles people feel is that they get to maybe a certain age or a certain fitness level that they never got to, and they feel that they're too old and they're too out of shape, and it's not like, I don't think there's any chance for me or any hope, and, you know, you've even you've even endured some challenges over the past year, and we're able to work through those, and it helps to have, at the end of the day, it helps not only to have the support from your husband, but as well, having some outside eyes I talk about often that are kind of keeping, keeping watch and making sure you're doing, not just doing exercise like burpees and things like that, but making sure that it is appropriate for where you're at and your level. Um, and that's something I think, unfortunately, a lot of people at all ages go into programs where they're not too sure, or it's just maybe too hard or too easy. They don't get results or they get hurt in the process. And um, you, made it, you made it a choice to make sure you got around somebody that, that has done it before. Um, and that's, that's awesome. And I'll tell you what, you are, you're an inspiration to me for sure. And I know, um, I know we're not done yet either. Like there's, we got more to, we got more to go. Maybe, maybe not a hundred burpees, but who knows what's there to come. And, uh, and how, many, how many, 30, how many grandchildren and grandchildren? Uh, I, I have, well, I, because I have great grandchildren and grandchildren being born at the same time, I just lump them all together. <laughs> Number 32 is on the way. Wow. So. so, I mean, you have, there's not a, it's not a question of wanting to be in shape. You really, it's a, it's, it's an essential that you need to be in good shape if you want to actually be around them and be present in their lives and so forth. So, I well, I, I keep two of them, a two-year-old and a four-year-old, four days a week. So, uh, there's not much time to be still. You, you're moving. That's perfect. We're going to end on that because I think it's important that people that I hear all the time, Mark, I'm just too busy. I don't have enough time. You mentioned as well, not having to go to a gym, 
You see, the program that I have doesn't require people to have to go mm -hmm. to a gym or even take up hours and hours of extra time doing cardio. And if you're busy, that's the 